And the problem is that if you want to fix the NHS, what you need is freedom of movement for workers. And if you want to fix the economy, what you need is to rejoin the single market. And, and the reality is that Brexit is an extraordinary act of economic and social self-harm that we, as Barry says, People voted for it. We've got to live with it, probably for another 20 years. But it is a constant drag on our ability to thrive as a nation and a people. And until people are able, as political leaders, to accept that they enabled the people to inflict this act of economic self-harm, which is why we are poorer and why we are uh, so unable to access I, the, I, the community I, of, of our neighbours, well, we won't actually be able to move forward. I, I just don't accept that premise. I mean, okay. Barry was, 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 was talking about um, <laughs> ti 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 tiny deals with New Zealand and Australia. The Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement that was signed uh, last How month... How much is that going to is represent? ..is a si significant um, uh, opportunity. Um, well, it's, it, well, it's many billions, and there have been 70 trade um, uh, agreements uh, uh, around... Yes, I think sorry, the United Kingdom, sorry, the, uh, around the world... Um, uh, as well, and, and I think actually the economic woes that we see here are seen in Europe, are seen in North America as well. It's a result of the COVID pandemic. Except because they and haven't had, in, they haven't had Brexit uh, to whatever extent it's harmed the economy but, but, or not.